안녕하세요. Good afternoon. I'll introduce. I am Jungwook Lee from MyCure. Today, my topic is CTD. Today, I will talk about what CTD is and the background of the CTD and also the introduction or the implementation status of the other countries and uh, Korea. And I will talk about the structures and how to write CTD and things to consider. And lastly, I will talk about ECTD. So what is CTD? People who are working in the industry usually call it CTD, Common Technical Document. The regulations of the MFDS uh, translate into uh, Korean as International Common Technical Document. ICH in 2000 agreed on the harmonized and standardized form and that to CTD. So this is to provide standardized format for regulatory submissions so that it can reduce the time and resources needed to compile applications for registration and regulatory reviews and communication with the applicant will be facilitated. This is the ICH webpage. If you uh, visit the webpage, you can see that safe and quality and efficient product will be provided to the patients and to the public. And that is what ICH is striving to achieve. And here you can see QSEM, the letters on the upper corner of the right side. Quality, safety, efficacy, and M. So if you click on these letters, then you can you will be directed to the guidelines under that topic. For example, if I click on the M, then you will see 13 guidelines falling into the M category. So M4 is the common technical document or CTD. So moving on to the CTD tab, then you will direct it to the CTD uh, page. So in this tab, you can see the M4 common technical uh, document, and you will see the CTD triangle. So in M4, it says that the agreement to assemble all the quality, safety, and efficacy information in a common format. That's what CTD is about. And CTD is organized into five modules, and in 2003, Starting from the EU and Japan, the ICH countries started to use CTD. Then why CTD was established? The background. When the pharma companies apply for the approval, then uh, they are now required to use this standardized format. This is the CTD. And it talks about the overall outline and format and order of information in the dossier. So the applicant with CTD can create the document in the standardized format. Then this dossier can be applied to other regulatory bodies. So it can facilitate the globalization of the pharma companies. And CTD is about a format. So it, does, so it doesn't mean that you have to fill in all the information in the CTD. And that is also explained in other guidelines what kind of the data or the inf uh, information need to be included. 
However, the format itself should not be uh, changed. In Korea, the CTD was introduced in 2009. So the Korean MFDS said that it will help the regulators to speed up the process. And for the industry, uh, they will not do the duplicated work if they want to apply to foreign regulators. So it can help the Korean re uh, industry to better uh, entry into the market. So in the ICH website, uh, there was a Q&A in the early days of the CTD introduction. The same discussion was made there. Will a dossier using the CTD format be identical for all regions? And the, uh, the response was that not necessarily because it provides a common format for the submission of the information. So depending on the region, the regional requirements may be different. So in other words, if you look at the ICHM4 uh, web page, the CTD is a common format for the technical document, and therefore it will reduce the time and resource needed to compile complete applications for registration of human pharmaceuticals and will ease the preparation of electronic submission. Then what about the implementation of the CTD in other countries and Korea? As said, the EU was the first area, particularly the, Swi the Switzerland, started to use the CTD in 2003, and then followed by Japan, and then the US, and in Korea in 2009, the new drugs were applied with the CTD. And in 2016, we expanded the use of the CTD to cover other types of the drugs. So when we apply for the marketing authorization in Korea, new drugs and the specialized drugs or the prescription drugs or even in the generic drugs, if that is required to submit bioequivalence data, then those drugs need to be applied in the CTD format. In ICHM4, there are five modules, as I said. In the Korean regulation, we say sections. So we have five sections, but which are the same to the modules in the ICH CTD. So this is the regulation on approval notification and a review of the pharmaceutical products. If you refer to the uh, Article 5, it talks about the regulatory submission types. The types of the regulatory submissions are defined in this Article 5. So it talks about the quality and safety data. So total of uh, eight types are defined in Article 5.1. And Article 5.2 talks about the scope of data which should be submitted for the review of safety and efficacy and specification and test method depending on the pro pro properties of each product shall be identical to attach a table 1 type of pharmaceuticals and scope of submitted data and attach a table 14 type of other pharmaceuticals and submitted data. So this is the attach a table 1. Some part is taken on this slide, whether it is for the uh, new drugs or pharmaceutical drugs requiring data submission. And it also specifies whether it is containing new chemical entities or not. So this table provides which type of submission need to be submitted and which can be exempted. 
And this is the attached table 14, type of other pharmaceutical drug and some metadata. Starting from number 1 to 5, you can see the types of the uh, submitted data for the other type of pharmaceutical drugs. And the Article 6 of the regulation is about the preparation of the common technical document. So here it talks about the safety, efficacy, and also the test method data need to be provided for the eight types of the drugs. But the new drugs and also the pharmaceuticals that require the uh, data submission for those type of drugs, the CTD need to be utilized. That's clearly defined in here. And BE data, the, the drugs that require BE data submission is also falling into this category. So Article 5, the data needed for the review of the, the safety, efficacy, and the test method, and if these documents are made into the CTD, then the numbering is different, should be different. So the Article 6.2 shows that the types of submitted data in accordance with the paragraph 1 shall be regarded as the types of the review data specified in Article 5.1 according to the attached Table 4 comparison of the list between review data and CTD data submitted and requirements, exception scope, etc. of data shall be applied. So the attached table 3 here is the preparation method for CTD of pharmaceutical drugs. To review the safety, efficacy, and test method, and uh, the data should be submitted, and how they are prepared is well-defined and well-described in here. And this is the attached table 4, which is the comparison of list routine review data and CTD data submitted, which was already mentioned when I talked about the Article 6.2. Here you see the types of the review data, uh, eight of them. So it specifies what kind of the data need to be provided. And when you uh, write them into CTD format, the section number should be matched to the module number of CTD, and this is matched in this attached table 4. So depending on the property of the uh, reviewed f uh, drug, you have to check which section need to be prepared in the CTD and which section can be exempted. Thus, then you can refer to this comparison table for that. So CTD is a format. I said that. And the submission requirements can be different from one region to another. And the regulation on approval, notification, and review of pharmaceutical products of that, you remember the uh, attached table number one. So this is from Australia. Uh, this is the document matrix from Australia for new drug and with a new molecular entity and for the new efficacy added from the CTD, which part and which data should be submitted, which are mandatory and which can be exempted. This is from TSA. Then next is the CTD structure. As I said, the CTD is made into five modules. So in the regulation of Korea, we use different term rather than module, we use section. So for the first section, the administrative information can be different from one region to another, but from module 2 to 5, they are universally required.
시티리의 구성 보시면 제 1부가 신청 내용 및 행정 정보. And the first module is the administrative information and prescribing information. And second is the CTD summary. And third is the quality over summary. And four is non-clinical overview. And five is the clinical over overview. So the second section or the module provides the summary over a summary of the quality. And 2.4 and 2.6 will talk about the summary of the non-clinical study and also the overview of the non-clinical study. And fifth section is the clinical study report. So the 2.5 clinical overview and the 2.7 clinical summary provides or the support the fifth module or the section in Korean version. And the introduction provides the overall summary of the CTD. So when the reviewer read the introduction part, then he or she should be able to understand the basic story or the basic background information of that submission. And this is the CTD pyramid. You can see module 3, module 4, and 5. And these are summarized. And that summary is overviewed uh, in module 2. So for module 1, it's about administrative information, usually. So this is not a part of CTD, that's what people say. This is not a part of uh, CTD. And enforce organization of CTD. There is a section numbers here. You can see the number here. Then how we can write the CTD. So when we prepare the CTD, we have the application form, which is not CTD at this moment. But even in that case, in order to help the reviewers understand better the product, we have to be always clear and concise. That is the principle. However, when it comes to the CTD, that is quite much highlighted. So it says, in order to facilitate uh, the review of the data and to help a reviewer become quickly, the data should be unambiguous. In the US, you can utilize letter paper, but the basic principle is to use A4 paper. For English, Times New Roman 12 points. For Korean, Shin Myungjo 12 point that is required or uh, in the guideline of the Korean MFDS. And in the module, there are acronyms and abbreviations, and they need to be defined in the introduction part of the each module. In 2016, there was a uh, quite a, a modification and revision to the E feedback section in the Korean MFDS. So at the time, the principles were set to use 바탕체 for a, the word file, and the page number is should be on the right bottom bottom. And the second module is kind of a, uh, the summary and overview of the following modules, 3, 4, and 5. And therefore, it should be describing 
the matters related to each submitted data. And if the original document is in English, then there should not be uh, the Korean version is not a requirement. However, for the module 2, it should be in Korean. And if the module 3, 4, and 5, if the original document is not in English but in like Japanese and others, then the translation of Korean need to be provided. For the references, ICMJE defines the rules of the citation. So, author name, title of literature, journal title, publication year, and volume number and page should be the sequence. But when it comes to the journal title, the acronym of the journal, which is defined in the chemical abstract, should be used. And we have the general principles of the CTD preparation. This general principles is not that much different from that from the MFDS. And legibility, however, is more empathizing here. And The page numbering for each individual page need to be given. And it says granularity document. So it means every page should be numbered according to the granularity document. Then what should be considered in preparing CTD? ICHM4 guideline had a quite a revision in 2006 and of one of them is that the version ECTD on the MFDS webpage is 2.3.2 but at the time the ECTD version 4.0 was released so with that version, granularity document was deeply discussed. And it was more uh, detailedly defined. When it comes to the document in the CTD, it says a document is defined for a paper submission as a set of pages numbered sequentially and divided from other documents by a tab. Before we provide or submit it, submit in binder, not in electronic file. At that time, the quality document or efficacy document, different types of the documents. I uh, had to have tabs so that tab is the standard for granule document. So a document can be equated to a file for a electronic submission. So how we can define a document, one document in CTD is very important because ECTD is to help the applicants to prepare and submit the document more efficiently and also the reviewers can uh, have more efficient review process. And during the life cycle of the product, life cycle management, as important. So during the life cycle of the product, the document need to be continuously managed. And if there is any changes to the product related information, then that changed information only should be changed. So that is important. So the document 
is a group of pages that is differentiated with a tap, tap divider. In CTD guideline, there are six tables for granularity document. For ECTD version 3.2.2, table 1, 2, 5, 6 are used. In version 4, table 3, 4, 5, 6. And for the paper CTD, table 1, 2, 5, 6 should be referred. So these tables were summarized in here. This is the table 1. For each section of module 2, how many documents are falling into different section of the module 2? When the version is 3.2.2, .2, you refer to this table number 1. The red color is the table of content. If it is the CTD in paper or just the CTD, then the table of the content is very important. But for the ECTD, the directory represents the table of contents, so there is no need to write the table of contents separately. Pink colored area. One document need to be submitted at this level and the green part is that at this level, one document or multiple documents can be submitted. And 2.3.1 point and the followings can be called as level 4. And here, the documents may not be submitted at this level. For ECT submission, the document may be written at this level, but must be submitted at a higher level. And module 3 is very important when it comes to the granularity document. Sometimes uh, the drugs are already in the market, but the experienced suppliers stop supplying the products or there can be some cost issue. So if that happens, then we have to change excipients. And that kind of changes should be reflected during the life cycle of the product. So when we have that kind of a change, it is really important to have the well-organized document granularity so that we can easily reflect that change. The so yellow part here, documents rolled up to this level are not considered appropriate, and the green level, one or multiple documents can be submitted at this level. And for the quality part, the combination drugs, if there are many DS, the S part, 3.2 S part, for each DS, the document need to be given, and the solvent, and active ingredients, they can be separated in one product. They should be covered at the P part. And for each component, the document need to be submitted. And these are more detailed explanation about what I just shared with you. Table 3 is about Module 2, um, how it needs to be converted in case of ECTD version 4. So please uh, refer to this table. Table 5 talks about Module 4. The location of each report. For each report, one document or series of documents can be uh, written. For example, if it's a single tier um, toxicity, if the volume is big, it could be separated into multiple documents. But the main body must be one document, and uh, uh, attachments or appendix uh, could be 
created separately. Module 5 is about clinical study. The same explanation is shown here. The location of the summary. It has to be a single document. In the green part, for both single or multiple uh, documents, the main body must be a single document, and attachment could be attached as individual document. Products with multiple efficacy and effectiveness uh, with more than one. 5.3.5 talks about repetition um, of the document for each efficacy. For each module, reference must be um, added. The list of reference must be included in the table of contents, but for each module, reference um, location must be indicated. Next, document pagination, which is important. How to separate document and how to do the pagination. For all of the documents, for individual documents, there must be a pagination. For the whole document, regardless of the total number of pages, for uh, individual document, pagination must be done. There is no set um, template or format for that. For all of the pages, Reviewers must be able to see uh, which uh, section and which uh, page he or she is um, looking at. So the topic um, of all the pages must be indicated either in header or footer. You could put the section title. If it's too long, you could abbreviate the title. For each module, how to create table of contents, that will be discussed in ECTD part. Within a document, there could be multiple analytical methods. And if you want to come up with a table of contents for the method, it is allowed to do so. I'll talk about this later, but within a document, if you have a table of contents for summary, that must not be part of the table of contents for the whole document. When you take a look at the CTD document, 2.6.6.3.2.1, this is one example. We use punctuation for numbering. So the guideline says up to level 6. But when we do the subheading numbering like this, it gets too complicated within the document. So the as long as the title is shown at either header or the footer, uh, there could be less um, numbers used. When we looked at the granularity, TOC, table of contents, is important. I already talked about this. And to which level, then, do we need to include in the table of contents for module 2, third and fourth level? It has to be included in the TOC. For module 3, depending on whether it's substance or product, there is SP. So up to fifth level in TOC. For main body, when you do the numbering, it could go um, down to sixth or seventh level. But for the table of contents, only down to fifth level.
POC does not determine how to do the pagination. It just says in any form, pagination is required. For reference, the corresponding and uh, respective reference for that particular um, module must be listed. Module 4. All of the items must be included in the guideline. In this module, all of the items must be included, so down to fifth level. Report under that. must have general information about the report, so the report title must be included so that reviewer could go through TOC and understand what kind of test reports are included in that section. Each report has its own TOC. So with this TOC, um, reviewer can still can also understand the contents of the test report. So TOC is important. Module 5. All of the items uh, from the guideline must be included in uh, preparing TOC and uh, down to the clinical test report level. In other words, by looking at TOC, reviewer must be able to understand which test report is included. Templates of CTD. Once template is predefined, author could focus more on the contents rather than formatting. Formatting styles, headers, and footers can be predefined, and it is recommended to predefine these items or components. It is written with uh, Microsoft Word or Hangul um, software. There is a style guide, predefined style guide, and when converting to PDF, please follow the guideline here. When I talk about ECTD, uh, I will explain more. Style guide. By defining style guide, author and creator of ECTD can follow the format and have more consistent documents from module 2 to 5. Within module two, quality, safety, and other aspects are included. So it is important to have consistency in case there are multiple authors by different uh, parts. In module two, non-clinical and clinical testing Regarding the drugs, uh, code is used. For module 4 and 5, clinical and non-clinical test reports use codes. But for module 2, drug names are decided. So standard drug names should be used. This is an example of style guide. For each level, in level three, um, capital letter is used. For level four, capital and, and um, upper class and lower class um, letters are both used. So this shows the consistency. For each section, there is the title of each section, which is shown at the header. This is an example from FDA. This is an example from MFDS 
documentation. Header shows the title of each section. The drug name is included. Date and version information. For life cycle management, as long as the product is being sold, if there is a need for revision of the document, it helps to have the version control. Without this version number, it's difficult to, um, to manage documentation. The page uh, goes at the bottom to the right. So this is an example. Next, ECTD. ECTD refers to Electronic Common Technical Document. ICH guideline talks about um, in ECTD as an interface between exchanging approval information between applicant and regulatory authority for life cycle management including creation review and uh, marketing and post marketing all the documentation can be done easily in korea we have introduced electronic civil service window very early early 2000 if i remember correctly so this electronic documentation and pdf handling we are quite used to these new methods but ectd from ich guideline and the electronic um, documentation format that we use are different in some aspects and i'll compare these in ectd ECTD specification is provided to allow applicants to send marketing application in a set format. So applicants can send the information safely and confidentiality is provided in ECTD version 3.2. Um, it's only one way. So the regulatory authority cannot respond electronically. But ECTD version 4.0 is available now. By applying health level 7, not only for human drugs, but also for animal drugs and food, um, the format has overarching implication. NEES, N-E-E-S, stands for Non-ECTD Electronic Submission. MFDS operates electronic civil service windows, uh, which is equivalent to this. Expected benefits of ECTD from ICH. Um, is that it's um, easy to use, it's easy to find information, and it allows faster search, and it could reduce the storage um, needs. For us, um, it's all implemented already, so they are not new to us, but when we look at the structure of ECTD, It starts with 0, 0, 0, 0 sequence, so it has a folder structure. Inside, there is a directory. And contents files are stored as PDF. XML ECTD instances to run the files. I have been receiving ECTD and submitted that to MFDS. We uh, read the file from CD-ROM, and I can tell that PDF file is inside. 
but from the viewer, the view is different. By different project, there is a sequence folder. There are two sequences in this example. For each sequence, by different module, there are different folders. And checksum is here. which is used for banking, the serial PIN numbers. So the combination of number changes all the time. An XML backbone is there to allow this function. Within each module, there are folders to hold documents. If you do not have an ECTD viewer, if you see it from Internet Explorer, you can only see a single sequence and each PDF file can be accessed. However, using ECTD viewer, you could see it by sequence and you could also select current. If sequence changes, some of the document gets updated. For example, the analytical method change or the specification change of additive. So any kind of change happens, the, only the latest information will be shown. That is uh, possible with current feature. So using ECTD viewer, you could have a uh, more holistic life cycle management. For each sequence, you could um, have these details. Through current view, you could see which part has changed and what are the latest information. In the first part of the presentation, when CTDM4 uh, was revised, the granularity guideline has changed greatly in 2016. While products are being um, sold and available in the market, existing documents are reused and only the updated uh, parts can be replaced. In order to do so, how should we separate documents and prepare those um, latest versions? Those are important. There were trainings for CTD in the past and the difference between eCTD and CTD. For CTD, TOC and volume number are used for search for ECTD. XML backbone is used for search. So you could um, check the result at the directory level. We use electronic civil service window and we had um, access to directory. So for all of uh, you here, this may not be a news, but this is a, a difference. And in CTD, for certain section, if uh, it uh, quotes contents from other section, there is a cross-reference number in CTD, but in eCTD, there is a hyperlink. TOC, bookmark, and hyperlinks are used for search. ICH guideline M2 talks about electronic specifications. So please go to M2 and ICH ECTD specification can be found. Please refer to these guidelines and there are eight appendices. Among them, you could uh, pick and choose what you need. In appendix two, uh, it talks about ECTD submission. When sub submitting ECTD, the format is PDF and XML. So the format requirement is there. 
for FDA. The old documents are available. For example, conver uh, conversion of a typed document to PDF. So when the conversion is done with the old document, some of the formats may not apply, but for the modern documents, the format must be used, hyperlink must be used, and for file naming, lower class letters, number, and hyphens can be used. MFDS website also talks about this. Only um, lower class um, alphabets, numbers, and hyphen. Maximum 64 letters as for the length of the name. For PDF, as long as it meets specification, the vendor, um, any vendor product could be used. It should be no bigger than 100 megabytes. And copying must be allowed. The latest version is recommended. For Page Nation, if the a uh, paper um, is horizontal. Um, if the paper needs to be printed horizontally, then uh, the page number uh, must be made accordingly. Hyperlink and bookmarks are recommended to use to be used details on that. Next, validation. The validation of converted document. DTD, checksum, leaf ID, and other um, items to be checked is listed here. In MFDS's electronic civil service window, uh, we could download the related information. And regarding ECTD, validation criteria talks about which items to be validated in which manner. This is an example of validation report. EMEA has introduced ECTD, it's mandatory now. Moving to version 4 is under discussion. FDA in 2017, in NDA, ANDA, um, there was is a requirement to use ECTD for 2018. IND and DMF is included, so ECTD must be used for those applications as well. The same is true with Japan. For version four, there is an announcement uh, in China, it is ready to um, introduce ECTD. In 2018, MFDS announced mid- and long-term roadmap for the life cycle uh, management. From 2021 to 2022, ECTD version 4.0 will be uh, introduced. So this is the roadma roadmap. When you go to uh, MFDS, Electronic Civil Service Window um, site, you could download the format. You could see the same directory, and there are uh, locations for files. In 2018, while I was preparing for the material, I downloaded uh, a viewer from private companies. But MFDS recently starts providing the viewer features, which allows you to have exactly the same view as reviewer.
ICH guideline M2 talks about electronic specification. ECTD specification is explained. MFTS has CTD schema information, which is part of that gui ICH guidance. When you submit electronically using PDF file, hyperlink and bookmark are not mandatory up until now. But um, you need to follow closely um, the development of changes in the requirement. Private